Imagine you could write an entire text like this with references and have an entire structure of your research paper or your thesis with logical headings um, that you can fill in um, with text in just a matter of not weeks, not even days, but really hours. This is the true power of AI um, for writing research papers, your thesis and AI in academia. And I'll show you exactly how you can use AI ethically to help you to write research papers um, just like this um, and cut down the writing time from months down to weeks or maybe even days. So let's dive in and let's see how Jenny.ai can help us do exactly that. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Tichkovek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish research papers in top Scopus index journals. And, you know, the AI revolution um, has really started, whether we like it or not. I know some universities and some journals are trying to ban AI, but sooner or later, you know, the vast majority of researchers will be using AI. And if you're not using it and you're not planning to be using it, you might just miss that train and you will miss out on a lot of opportunities, I think. And one of these really, really good AI tools is Jenny.ai. And the link to, um, to sign up for Jenny AI completely for free is in the description um, to this video. And I'm going to talk about the, the difference between free and paid plan later on in this video. But I want to show you exactly what Jenny AI can do in terms of um, writing. And it's basically like Grammarly on steroids and on massive, massive academic research steroids. So how does it work? Well, you can just start a new document in here. I've got one document open, but I'll show you how it works. We'll start a new document and you want to describe as accurately as possible to Jenny.ai what you're doing. So if you've got an assignment from university, I would just like paste, um, you know, the, the, the actual task uh, that you have to do into Jenny AI. The more accurate you are here and the more uh, detailed you are, the better answer you're going to get. So let's just, um, let's type it in and let's see what Jenny gives us. Right, so um, I typed in a prompt um, in here and the cool thing as well is that it, it helps you to gauge whether your prompt is accurate enough or not. So for example, you know, for me now it says it's an average prompt and I should consider adding keywords. All right, fair enough. So I'm going to add some keywords in here and you want to take this thing so um, you, all, you get a whole outline. And then we're going to start writing. So the awesome thing about it is that, you know, usually um, we get stuck at the outline stage. So, you know, you're trying to kind of map out your research paper, your systematic review, maybe your literature review chapter, whatever it is, and you're stuck. You don't know what the main topics are going to be. Uh, you don't know what the overall structure is going to be. Well, this one, Jenny AI just solves it almost immediately, right? Because look at what I got here. I've got a title um, and then I've got um, basically, you know, the, uh, the sections that I should include. Now, of course, I can go in and start editing those sections, but I think this is a fantastic start. You know, think about how many hours really have you spent just staring at a blank piece of paper, not being able to write anything. And with Jenny AI, I think that's no longer going to be the case because now that you have an outline, you can get stuck in and start writing. So um, what Jenny is going to do is going to give you prompts. As you can see here for this first section, it's already giving me a prompt. The complex and varied social linguistic relative of word English is and English as Lingua Franca has important implications for, uh, for English, right? So you can accept it in here, right? So if we click accept, um, it's going to give us that sentence. And what we can do as well is, is change it afterwards, right? So I'm going to add teaching English um, in here um, and I can, you know, change the words in any way um, that I want, right? Um, so what, what it will do next for you, if I select this, uh, what it can help us to do is to expand on it, right? So I've got the first sentence and often where people are stuck is like, okay, how do I develop my idea? So let's uh, make this longer and expand um, on this, right? Now, when you just continue typing, like I started typing in more specifically in here, 
Um, Jenny AI gives you a suggestion for what a sentence could look like, right? Um, so again, I think it, it can really speed up what we, what we want to say, okay? You can see that it automatically gives us suggestions, right? And it just continues writing and it will do that for you. And I'll talk about plagiarism um, later on in this video. So don't worry if you're already thinking, is this going to be plagiarized, detected by AI detectors and so on? I'm going to talk about it. But they, they, this is how it can really speed up um, your writing, okay? And once you've got the text um, like this, um, what you can also do is, for example, paraphrase it. Right? So let's say you've written something yourself and you copy and paste it here, uh, you can get Jenny to paraphrase it. You can also improve fluency. Okay? So again, you're writing things yourself and Jenny will improve um, fluency um, for you. Okay? And then you can, uh, you can just replace it um, in here. Okay, now what it can also do is simplify your text. So what I often find when you know I review research papers or thesis at Academic English Now, where we work with PhD students and researchers who want to publish their research in top journals, is that you know they're basically using way too many words to say something very very simple, um, and journals have strict word limits. So using this simplify um, feature in here. Jenny can, can help you to you know, reduce the word count, right? As you can see here, we've got it down by at least a line. And if you were to paste more text into it, you know, it will really cut down uh, the text for you, which I think is awesome. Now, another great feature in here you know, that you might, you might know that ChatGPT really invents references, right? It's got what, what are called in research hallucinations, right? It just hallucinates and invents references that don't actually exist well jenny doesn't doesn't have those hallucinations it's it's uh, a pretty down-to-earth um, software it doesn't take any mushrooms or anything like it like chan gpt so if you actually add in here okay what it's going to do is already use the keywords that um she's found in previous sentences is jenny a she or a he let's assume it's a she that she found in previous sentences, right, and search databases and find real existing papers. How do we know they're real? Well, you can open them in a new tab in here and just read that whole paper as well, right? So if we click on add citation, it's going to add this uh, citation for us um, right here. So I think this is another awesome feature if you're writing academic text because you can very easily um, add in references in here. And if it, of course, really speeds up your, your writing process because how often have you found yourself that, you know, you've written a sentence and you know there is a reference for it. You know you've read it, but you're like, you, you can't remember um, what that specific reference is. So in here, that, that problem disappears because you just type in um, at, um, like I showed you, um, and you get you know, a full breakdown of all the possible references and you pick the one that is that is right for you. You can view them in a new tab, read them, or just simply um, add them in here, okay? I, I added the same um, reference. And of course, uh, we can add the references right in here. So this is perhaps a good place to talk about the difference between, you know, the, the free plan and the paid plan. Because if you're on the free plan, uh, you won't get the references. So um, we'd have to upgrade um, in here. And really, it's just uh, $12 um, a month if you're on an annual subscription. I mean, if you're like me and you love coffee, you probably spend more on coffee every single week than $12 a month. And um, if you follow the, the, the link below, uh, there is a coupon code in the description to this video. So you can also get um, a discount on Jenny AI. Um, subscription. Okay, so now that we um, that we've upgraded, you can see the the references in here, and you can reformat them in you know in the main sort of referencing style styles. I was going to say in you know all potential referencing styles. That's not true in the main ones, but I think this covers quite a lot of journals, probably like 18, 90 percent um, of the of the journals um, that you're that you're looking to. Now another really cool thing is AI um, chat. So you can also chat with Jenny and ask her questions about what you're writing. So think of it like this. It's like having a personal writing buddy that's super knowledgeable about everything that you're writing about 
and is available to you 24 seven instantly, right? That's what Jenny AI chat does. So we can write questions for Jenny or we can use this, use the prompts, like for example, suggest um, improvements, right? And you can see this is, this is pretty awesome because what, what it's doing here is just giving you kind of what should go um, in each section. Okay. And, you know, for example, if we look at um, one of these things, so in the introduction, I need a clear definition of the lingua franca core and its significance. Okay. So I can just ask Jenny, what, what is the definition of lingua franca core? Right. And then it's going to provide me a, a definition. Right. So we just started with like suggestions and Jenny basically gave me like in bullet points, what I need to put in each section and then I'm taking it to expand on it. And then, you know, I could just add it to the document just like this. If I'm happy with this definition, I can just click on add to document right here. Or I can copy, put it somewhere else, um, right? And I'll just add it to the document um, just like that. And the cool thing is that obviously it adds it in the section where, you know, where she thinks it's, it's best, right? We can move it around, but you know, it kind of knows where it should be added. And it gives us more questions about it. You know, for example, can you elaborate on a specific thing that was um, that was written there? So I think, you know, again, as we're writing, we often get very, very stuck and we can't move forward uh, with our writing. And a lot of our clients at uh, Academic English Now, they have this problem initially as well. Like they're staring at a blank piece of paper, the Word document, and they can't write anything. You know, it's in the head, but they can't put it on paper. So I think, you know, Jenny AI really helps you to do that uh, much more um, effectively, helps you to avoid getting, um, getting stuck, right? And, you know, another, another feature that, that is here, Gen I mean, admittedly, Jenny AI is not really built for doing a literature review. And I've got another video on this channel where I talk about SciSpace, which is a fantastic tool, AI tool for speeding up your literature review. But you can have a library in here in um, Jenny.ai and any sources that you will be adding into your paper will automatically go into uh, your library. And you can also upload um, sources um, in here, right? Um, just like this. And then you select the right files that you want to upload. And you can also import a bit text file. So this is great if you've got um, Zotero. Okay, um, and you want to import files um, from Zotero. And I'll have another video on how to exactly kind of import your references from Zotero into Jenny and vice versa, how to get the references from Jenny uh, to Zotero. So if you're using Zotero and you want to see that, then click subscribe um, and like this video so that you don't miss that future um, video, right? And you know, once you've uploaded uh, sources in here, you can cite them. Um, immediately so you can just click on site um, in here and then you'll be able to cite them and of course you can also view them and with some of them uh, when the PDF is available you can also start um, chatting with those uh, sources um, as well which I think is um, is great so um, in the AI commands when I was talking about um, AI commands um, I didn't mention really interesting commands like write introduction and write conclusion so we kind of at the uh, right at the at the end of it here uh, so we could click here and um, to write a conclusion uh, for us obviously this isn't going to be very accurate because we don't really have much text uh, generated but you know the more text you've got the better the conclusion of course is going um, to be um, another another cool feature is um, you know imagine you, you start writing uh, something Okay, uh, so we've got one sentence in here and what, what we want to do is write in more depth. Okay, so if, you, if you've got just one sentence, right, and you're stuck and you don't know how to develop your argument, you click here and you're going to get much more depth about that specific um, issue, which again, I think is great to get, to get you unstuck. Now, I'm not saying that you should use all of this as is because it's not your own words. So, Ethically speaking, this would be plagiarism. But I think this is really, really good to, to help you move forward with your writing. So now let's assume this document is finished and we want to export it, right? You can click on export and you know export it to any um, 
format like Word, Latex, HTML, and so on, or you can just copy it and put it somewhere else, right? So I think this is really useful as well. So overall, if you're a researcher or a PhD student who often gets stuck when writing papers, or writing your thesis, I think Jenny AI is a fantastic tool that can really speed up your writing, um, help you to reference correctly, um, help you to structure the whole text, um, give you prompts of what to write next, synthesize your text, cut it down, but also expand on the initial sentences that, that you write um, so that you never feel stuck again and writing becomes much more fluent. Now if you're looking for more human help with writing research papers and publishing them in Q1 journals, well at Academic English Now this is exactly what we specialize in. So I'd encourage you to book a completely free one-to-one -one consultation with our expert advisors where we can dive deeper into the exact challenges that you have when it comes to writing research papers for top journals in your field. We can outline your goals to really see if and how we might be able to help you. And the link to book that free consultation is right below this video.